Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, in the last episode, we did a lot. We got skulls, we fished, we we did a lot of stuff. In this episode, we're actually coming in here with 1 HP at the beginning of the morning. And you might ask me, why am I at 1 HP when no time has passed? That'd be because I was looking into things, and I didn't realize in this first one at the very least, or at least some of the Rune Factory games... You can get your communication skill up by literally doing nothing. You just have to milk the air, or brush the air, or do whatever you want to to the air. And you actually get your communication skill up. I'm going to be wasting my energy at the end of each day doing it that way because it's important to have your skill high. That way you can actually make friendship, you know, friends with your monsters faster. You can get better resources. Also, you may have noticed that the uh, game audio might have just cut out for you. That is for a very good reason. That reason being that this is obnoxious. There we go, you should be able to hear the game again. Because, ow, I forgot about that. I really shouldn't have gone down to 1 HP. So just one more day and we'll finally be there. We'll be ready, we won't be square. So luckily it's actually raining today. That way we don't actually have to water the field at all. The monsters get the day off, I guess, and we just get to relax. And I say relax, but really I mean go after more materials slash fish. I haven't fully decided what we're going to do yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out by the time we actually need to. For those part with those, I don't plan on watering them until I actually need more. I can just pick them, then, you know, just keep watering them until we get more and more, but... It's just, it's not necessary currently. So, cross my fingers that nothing happens to the audio today, because last time I did check the audio midway through, it seemed to be working. This time, it does once again seem to be working, but who knows really if it's going to just pull that on me. Okay, so we have a huge amount of energy for the day, so I'm actually going to waste a couple minutes real quick, and I'm actually going to just milk the air to get our skill up a little bit more, so give me a moment. Skill up. Skill up. Nice, sapphire. Okay, we're now level 6 in communication. So that means I can easily just, you know, get level up a little bit faster. We can actually become better friends. Don't quote me on that, but I mean, I really hope so, because I'm hoping to get either medium or large milk by the 18th. Because the 18th is actually when the uh, milk show, I believe it is. I think it's the 18th, it might be like the 27th. I have to check my calendar just to be sure. Well, I'll cross my fingers that I can do it, because I'd prefer to do all of these things the first year. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. I'm so happy. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, nice. So he does like char sashimi. That's good. Thanks. So on a nice, rainy day like today, I figure it might be fun just to come down here. Good morning. Casmir Ruins, Unauthorized Entry Prohibited, Godwin, Mayor of Cardia. So, we obviously can't come in here yet, but we can fish out here. And that's the important thing. Out here you can actually catch a good variety of fish. Out here you can catch the Glitter Snapper, the Gabellio, the Rainbow Trout, the Cherry Salmon, and last but not least, the Turbo which is actually unique to this location. You can only catch that fish here, so... You know, it's active year-round, so it's not too hard to get, but if you want that fish for cooking, you have to get it here. So I figured this is what we could do with our day. We could fish here, trying to get all the different fish that we can get, and then I can use up the rest of my energy. It'll be a fairly quick day for you guys, and I'll be able to be as efficient as possible. Everyone wins. We got a flounder. Nice. Wait, a flounder? Uh, my list doesn't have flounder on it. Oh, I didn't realize you could catch a flounder here. My list says that flounder can only be caught in Misty Bloom, which I guess is incorrect, so that's good information. Yeah. You can catch fl flounder here, that's amazing. Oh. 
Yeah, time to throw away this boot, so I'll just throw it in the shipping bin. Sell the flounder. So we've now shipped one, which is good. Also this giant claw. Three in a row, ew. Skill up. Well, this is the boot episode, apparently. Wasted all my energy. What? Phew. And now I'll be fully recovered. I am honored. Well, that's interesting. Over 15 boots. How this boot parted from its owner, you may never know. Its walking days are over. And a level 14 boot. Good evening. This will be our last one. Then I'm just going to waste the rest of energy for today. Cross my fingers I get something good, not a boot. Oh, hey, look. A boot. Eh. I just seem to be pretty unlucky today. I got a flounder, though, which I didn't even know you could catch there. It's nice to see I got a surprise, at least. But then there was all the boots. And I think that kind of balances out. So a decent day, I guess. Skill up. This is how I figure I'll do it. Make the most out of it by just taking one of them, healing myself up fully, and then coming back here. While I'm thinking about it, So Bianca's birthday is on the 8th. Cecilia's birthday is on the 12th. That means we have some time until we have to do any of these things. I'll try to... So Cecilia's birthday doesn't matter here, because we actually can't get her her favorite gift. Story-wise, it's blocked off to us in a future cave. Meanwhile, Bianca's also doesn't really matter, because she doesn't like anything. She doesn't like gifts, period. I'll see about trying to find something that she might react to, but otherwise, it's not going to do anything for us. Xavier likes demon horns. Can we get demon horns? I doubt it. We can get demon horns for Xavier. I will attempt that drop pretty soon. Time to go to bed. <sighs> All right. It's a beautiful morning. And let's start watering. Well, yes, our monsters will be watering for us on the top row. They're not very good at this point. So, we have some work to do. So, our plan for today is to start actually working on all the accessories I've been saving items up for. I believe the house extension should be done today. So, I should be able to just head inside and start working on things. If not, I may need to talk to Moomin. I don't quite remember. But I think I just need to actually just head inside. For now, though, all about this water. Okay, I believe it's done. Yep, here we are, finally. So, up here, well, down here first. We have our pharmacy. We can make medicine, which we don't have any recipes for. Up here, we have our forging, which we don't have any recipes for. And we have our decorations, which we don't have any recipes for. So, if we want to, we can go out and buy some recipes. Depending on what uh, what day of the week it is, you can actually get different recipes. 
Uh, how much money do we have? Because I may want to do that. We have about eleven and a half thousand. So I'll see what kind of recipes are for sale today. Please, do Welcome! Please. I like a book. I have just a book for you. Bake me tender, blend me in, steam cooking, instant dishes. So they're all cooking. Um, we, we don't need these, but I'll see about the prices. It costs 9,900 is the problem. Um, no, because I need some money for some things today, so I'll start picking up the books fairly soon and just start getting all the recipes so it may be easier for us to do. But, eh, it's not my biggest priority right now. I'll have them all by the end of the game. Alright, I'm going to start figuring out what I can make, so give me just a moment. Thanks for Show me your wares. Orders. Let's get the special goods. Let's pick up some cheese, cheap bracelets, one after another. I need these for both making things and for grinding my level a bit, so let's do this. Bronze bracelet. So to grind up your level, I'm going to be putting in a gold and getting it up like that. You do not lose out on the gold, kind of like with some forms of cooking. You just use up energy. I can do it one more time. Alright, let's get down to business. We need some energy, so let's head into the caves. Decoration increased. Okay, so I'm not sure if I can do this yet, but I'm going to attempt to do a level 10 recipe. I'm not sure if I can do this yet, but I'm going to attempt it. Let's make a silver ring. I did it. That probably gave a lot more experience. Let's see. Yeah, that set us up closer to level 6 now. Okay, so all in all, we're going to need 10 silver rings. So it's still not a guaranteed yet, but it gives us a huge amount of experience, so I may as well make them all now. Alright, we need one more silver. Alright, I'm gonna wait to do the last one, because it's just gonna take up inventory space, because some of them are like level 40 plus. So I'll figure out what my next recipe is going to be. So we've gotta pay a visit to the good old dock up here. Good morning. Can I see your medicine? So we're going to need one of these and one of these. I believe these are the two items we need for now. What? I don't have inventory space of all things. Um, you know what? Actually, do I have anything I can sell because I don't care about? Rather than selling. I can just give him his gift. This will work. Thanks. Okay, now that I've given you sashimi, which has been in my pocket since last night, so I'm sure it's fantastic and fresh. There we go. Perfect. A little monster over there doing some work. And if I combine a silver ring with an antidote, I get a poison ring. Which I believe gives me a poison resistance. The poison ring. Level 1. Poison guard, 75%. Defense, 2. So the defense isn't amazing, but it does stop poison status three quarters of the time. So, you know, if you're going to have to deal with poison, equip this. It's worth it. And by that logic, a silver ring and a paragon should not work. Parasite Ring. Decoration increased. The Parasite Ring. Level 1. Paralysis Guard 75%. Defense 2. You see where this is going. So, in the future, I will need another Parasite Ring. Luckily, I will not need another Poison Ring. 
So I'm actually going to sell both the Parasite Ring and the Poison Ring now, and I'll just make another Parasite Ring later. And while I'm at it, I'm going to sell a Silver Ring and the Bronze Bracelet. Okay, so up here, I mentioned these before, we have some makers. We have a Seed Maker, which is good for making higher level seeds. And we have a Wool Ball Maker. Press L and A buttons together, blah 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 blah. So if we go in here and drop a small fur into the wool ball maker, we'll get a small yarn. Then, if we come over here and drop the small yarn into the decoration, we get a hand-knit hat. We actually got a gold ring. Decoration level increased. Nice. Decoration level increased. Okay, so I'm actually out of energy once again. I have to come down here and get some more. I'm going to cut this out purely because the beef is going to be obnoxious. I'm at 1 HP. Okay, let's keep trying for these gold rings. There we go. Decoration level up. Another gold ring, nice. Wow, okay, we're getting really lucky with these. We're currently sitting at 15, so... I th think we're sitting at like a 40% chance. Oh, backpack's full. Sell a gold ring and a hand knit hat. So a silver ring and round off together. Fail. There we go, the silent ring. Decoration increased. Now as you may guess, once again, silent ring, level 1. Seal guards 75% to defense. So you know, if you're having trouble with seal, equip one of these, you'll get it a lot less often. It doesn't, you know, guarantee anything, but it helps, it really does. With only like a... Let's say a 10% chance of getting it to begin with, it knocks it down to like a 2.5% chance, and that's that much better. There we go, silver bracelet, decoration increased. So here's my issue. I'm starting to run down to the point where I'm not sure what I can do. I can do items up to, I think, level 27 or 28, with like a 10% chance. Which is cool, until you realize that... All of the one I have, uh, all of the recipes that I have the items for are like level 30 plus. So I can either waste some of my materials grinding a bit, or I can just keep looking through and hope I find something I passed over. Because I'm actually missing a couple of the materials for some of the level 20 items. Field gloves, which we actually already have a pair of. I actually have a pair that's equipped. I have these. And these give the same bonuses. So, you know, I'll just sell the extra pair I just made. Or, actually, I can just sell the ones I already have for more money. Yeah, this probably seems like a better idea. These ones are cleaner, anyway. I'm gonna use this recipe, since I know I will keep failing. And it'll just be good experience. This is a level 50 recipe, so there's no chance I can do it. Which means I won't be using up my materials grinding this way. For the sake of my sanity, it's better just to use up some gold here, because that gives me over half a bar just getting one of these rings to work. Silver bracelet, and then I'll just sell my extra gold rings. I'm up to decoration level 25 now. Gold bracelet, nice. That's actually a level 35, so I got pretty lucky with that. So I'm not sure if I can do this yet, but it's either this level or next level that I have a 10% chance of doing this.
Amethyst ring. Combination success. Decoration increased. They gave us almost a full level decoration. And that was level 39 rings, so we can do up to 10 levels higher than us, which is good to know. Because now we can do level 40 items, technically. Attempt this once. Seriously? <laughs> That's a level 40 item, but alright, yeah, sure. <laughs> what even? That's amazing! <laughs> okay. So, I haven't covered all the items I've made. So, the fire ring. A ring enchanted with the power of fire increases fire abilities. So if we were to put this on real quick, it gives us plus 12 to both fire attack and fire defense. And gives us two defense, which while it's one lower than cheap bracelet, we're not taking much in the way of damage because we have a high defense stat. So I feel like that, you know, it's worth it. We have the amethyst ring. The elegantly plain amethyst has a certain sophisticated air. It only gives one defense, but it makes a good, you know, gift and things like that. It's worth money. It's, it's just not a item that you use for just equipment. The gold ring. Simple designs are all the rage. Gold rings are pricey, but make good presents. Amethyst ring. Go down the hole. I will be keeping the fire ring for now. At some point, I'll sell it. But that's not right now. And the gold bracelet. Here's one I didn't realize I could make. Oh? I mean, oh yeah, it isn't guaranteed. Alright, I'm a little 31. Let's try that again. There we go. Combination of success, heavy boots. Decoration increased. Alright. Heavy boots are a level 37 item. We are only level 31 at the time, so we had like a 40% chance, I think? 30% chance? I think something like that. So not bad. Now the heavy boots. Level 1. Strength minus 3. Power guard and topple guard plus 35%. Defense plus 12. Iron boots offer excellent defense but are heavy. Difficult to be toppled. So it makes this so your knockdown less or your hit by power attacks less, which is good by me. Our field gloves only offer 2 defense and 2 dexterity, which I think comes out to about 4 defense, so these are just better. They lower my strength by a bit, but I really don't mind 3 less strength. I think that's like 6% less damage. So I can only attempt this once with my current energy, so I'm going to have to go get more in just a moment. But a wind crystal and a gold ring, I figured it would fail. I will collapse if I try this again, so give me a moment. Okay. We're going to attempt this once again. Mind you, we only have a 10% chance of this working, so the odds are not in our favor here. But it's experience one way or another. The last time I could have attempted it with my current energy gets me the wind ring. The combination of success, decoration increased. Puts us up to 33 and like two thirds. Like that. Yeah, completely out of energy. But, you know, the wind ring. A ring enchanted with the power of wind increases wind abilities. So, if I were to equip this, I'd get plus 12 to my attack and defense for wind. Um, I'm not sure what enemies actually use wind, so I'm going to sell this one in the future. I may make it again, should I feel like it's necessary.
Oh my god, what? Okay, we're gonna make amethyst rings to grind. Decoration increase once again. We're now up to level 35. Okay, so there's a good handful of items that I can't make yet that I think I want to save my stuff for. So I'm just kind of jam-packing this all. I'm actually going to sell some of these cheap bracelets I bought. I apparently only needed five, and honestly, you can easily buy them, so there's not really a reason to keep around extras. I'll keep one extra on me just in case for crafting, but I'm not going to need them for a little while. Get rid of these. Trying to free up inventory. We're going to water right over here. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. So now that our house is done, I want to extend my house. I'm afraid the house can't be made any bigger. And just a little bit of dialogue. Thank you. I'm so happy. They're done. Perfect. You're kidding me. We're actually going to be grinding for the rest of the day. Yeah. Which, not to say that we haven't been grinding up, you know, decoration level all day. But I need bird wings. I need them bad. Oh. That was quick. So we have enough to make our first item now. But I'm not satisfied with being able to make one item. There's like three or four that require bird wings that I can do right now. So, you know... Get a bunch of bird wings until we have to, you know, go back and get energy, that is. Level up. Nice. Now we can postpone going back further. And another bird wing. And an arrow element, which is fantastic. That's the other item I was hoping for. Because we can actually use that in crafting. I could also just eat it, you know, because, you know, something I can do, but... Eh. Well, yes, a wind resistance would be nice. I want to get my crafting skill up faster, so... Oh. Another bird wing. Skill up. You're kidding me, right? Right as I'm teleporting away, it hits me. Oh, at least we can teleport. 
It didn't seal us or anything like that. Please help me. My legs are broken. I'd like to take a bath. Perfect. Feel oh so much better. I don't want to risk upsetting Melody if I get too close to the bath there. By combining two bird wings, our cheap sleeping bag, and a strong string, we create the down sleeping bag. And our decoration goes up once again. Now, we actually do have enough of all the materials for the next sleeping bag upgrade except for one. We don't have more strong string. I'll have to grind that in the next episode a bit more, but probably not more today because I want to switch gears. I do want to check one thing though. There we go, a bronze bracelet. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm fairly positive that it's actually someone's favorite gift. Leo! I've come up with gifts. Thanks! Bronze bracelet? Thanks! I love this eye! Alright, so if you want Leo to love you, do that. So good. What's actually our friendship for Leo right now? Leo and I are at five right now. Okay, if we come over here to the forge, we put in our cheap sickle. I believe, let's see, let's look at my list. Two iron. And one scrap iron. I have the correct recipe, okay. So it's just a little 10 item, so it's going to take a few attempts, but it'll get our level up. Alright, perfect. We are now level 2 in forging. Level 7? Did that put us straight to level 7? Or did I make forging item already? I don't think I've made any forging items already. Oh my wow. Okay, that was a lot of experience. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Gotta look at the rest of the items I have. Two iron and let's see. How is one bronze? It's not guaranteed yet. There we go. Forging level increased. We're now level 12 forging, oh wow. Yeah, that seriously gave us five levels in one go. Oof, okay, I feel like that's broken, but all right. Um, so if we use the sickle, two silver and one bronze. The quality sickle which will put us up at 19 forging. Nice. We only have like a 10% chance of failure now. So... For the hoe... It is three silver. Right? Three silver? Yes. And one iron. And that puts us at 24 forging. Seriously, we're getting five levels per thing. This is ridiculous. All right, um, the hammer. I believe this is the, I need to check. This is the iron hammer, right? Yes. So if we were to do the iron hammer with two silver and a bronze, we get the Silver Hammer, which will put us at 29 Forging. That's seriously amazing, I love this. Alright, two Silver, a Bronze, and our Axe will turn into a Lumber Axe, which once again puts us up to 32, almost 33 Forging. Now I believe that's all of our tools, no. Oh, we do not actually have enough yeah. silver for that. I probably should have focused on our water pot first. We may need to go out and get some silver. Unless I have. Oh, yeah, I have an entire stack in here. Cool. 
Okay, two silver, a bronze, a sapphire, and the tin water pot will give us the lion water pot. And put us up to 36 forging. Now, um... Okay, so we cannot get the water pot up to the next rank yet. It requires one gold, one ruby, one emerald, one amethyst, and one agua marine. We do not have... I don't think we have any emerald, and I know we don't have any agua marine. So we cannot do that for a little while. Between episodes, I will check to see if I can get those gems any other way, but I don't think we're going to be able to do this until winter. I'm not exactly positive, though. One. Two. Three. Four. Four gold in our silver hammer turns into the golden hammer. Putting us up to 40 foraging already. So if we use one ruby, one bronze, two gold, and our axe, we get the mountain axe. Putting us up to 44 foraging. We're actually out of gold, so I won't be able to do all the tools today. So I'll use one of our diamond for this. So if we put our hoe in, with two gold, one silver, and one diamond, then we get the shiny hoe. And that puts us up to 47 foraging. There's a reason I spent so much of this episode just doing the decoration. Our forging is the easier one to get up. We have a huge amount of recipes that we haven't even covered just because we've been doing the tools. Now, I will not be able to do the Super Sickle yet, which is the next upgrade, purely because I don't have enough gold. I'm actually two gold short, so I'll be getting that maybe a little bit later, but we're actually going to change up what we're doing now. We cannot make the next upgrades yet for the uh, tools yeah. because they require platinum and we have not had access to platinum yet. So instead, we are going to change over into making medicine. So, we have to have our empty bottle for this, and I believe the easiest recipe we can do is adding a medicinal herb to it, but I feel like I actually, I feel like I tried to do this before. It may require two medicinal herbs, and I will try this. Yes. So the guide I have been using, just little notes I've been taking down, I've been copying off of every different guide and going into my own experience, I was pretty sure. Um, the official wikis and everything say one medicinal herb, it's actually two. And that's the fact that that hasn't been fixed, I need to go in and fix it myself to see if I can, because that's kind of crappy to be honest. Okay, so two antidotal and one medicinal herb will fail. But if you get lucky, you get an antidote, which increases your pharmacy experience. So this is going to be our recipe for a little bit. It's going to take a bit to get up to where we need it, so this is primarily what we'll be focusing on. We're up to level 6 Pharmacy, and that means I think I can start making my next item. I'm going to take one Medicinal Herb, and two Bluegrass. Mind you, this is a level 14 item. We're only level 6, so it's only like a 20% chance of success, or 30%, something like that. Round off, which puts us at level 7, I believe? Yes. I will not be making extras of those, just because we don't have a huge amount of bluegrass, but... You can also make Paragon, which yellow grass is much more common. That puts us at level 8 Pharmacy. So, I think I'm going to make a few of these. That puts us at 11 Pharmacy. Red. Blue, green, and yellow grass together. If you get lucky, that is. Gives you cold medicine. So that puts us up to 12 pharmacy. That's actually a level 18 recipe, so 
I only had like a 30% chance to actually do it. 19 recipes, so only like a 20% chance to do it, actually. Huh, interesting. Now we have this lovely potion. Let's give it a drink. Perfect. 150 more HP, that's nice. But it also leaves us with an empty bottle, and I don't like having an empty bottle. I mean, who would, right? If I actually bother taking it off. So we take our empty bottle, two medicinal herbs, and one green grass. And as per usual, we have to get a bit lucky because I'm a little bit under leveled. Come on. And I want to have like a 20 or 30% chance. There we go. Healing potion. Pharmacy level up. So that puts us at 13. So, you can actually make these potions, which I'll just drink this to show it. Heals 300 HP. Twice the amount of HP just for adding a single green grass in there. Kind of really good, actually. <laughs> so that's about all we can make right now, but we could try to push... Um, I do have the materials to make some of the higher level items, but not a lot of them. So that's where we're going to stop with it for now. We're instead going to wait until I have some of the more rare materials. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day grinding. So cold medicine. At last, mankind's crowning achievement, a cure for the common cold. Normally you can buy this, but we can just make it. If we ever get sick and feel drowsy and all this, we just have to take a bit of this medicine and it'll help us. Also, I thought it was... I thought medicine actually went into the fridge, but I guess not in this game. Hmm, interesting. So all in all, these are our stats currently. We're looking pretty good. Mid-40s on our forging, decoration, logging, cooking. Pharmacy isn't very high. It's just above our communication and our fishing. And honestly, that's fine. I have no problem with that being low right now. We don't have the materials at this point. So, I mentioned before that I actually wanted to grind. So we're going to pull out our trusty little sword. So we're going to be fighting the demons here. Or daemons as I like to call them. They can actually drop demon horns. Which are incredibly useful for one word crafting. Maybe devil horns? I don't remember what their official name is. Speak of the devil and it shall appear. Devil horns. Oh. Another Devil Horn. So we actually have all the Devil Horns we need. Yeah. I only need one for crafting, apparently. I thought I need more. And I have the one for shipping. So I'm all good on those. So if I come down here, there's some spiders I need to fight. Level up, nice. It's been a while since I've got a level up. Well, not I guess not that long. It was earlier this episode, but it's weird getting level ups, I guess, <laughs> because I've been fighting so many weak monsters nowadays that I just never get them. I need some strong string off of these guys, so cross my fingers that I get them. Not what I was trying to do. About 0% of what I was trying to do, actually. Oh. And I got Pretty String, the rare drop rather than the common one I wanted. And I think I still need more Pretty String anyway, so I'll just check that. So I need a total of three Pretty String. I either had one or two back at home. So if I had two back at home, that means I actually have all three I need. So that's fantastic, really. Womp. Level up. Nice. So, I didn't end up getting the strong string I wanted. If I had some, I'd be able to craft more stuff. So, eh, that's fine. It really doesn't matter. I'll be able to make good stuff eventually. So guys, next time, on let's play... I almost said Harvest Moon. Rune Factory, a fantasy Harvest Moon. <laughs> no wonder I got confused. Uh, we do plan on doing more crafting tomorrow, but... I think a lot of our time will be spent grinding, trying to get the resources to make some of the really cool stuff. Because while, yes, I've shown off a lot of the lower level stuff, 
I haven't shown off some really awesome stuff, so we'll hopefully be getting to that. See you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.